Hey everybody, it's Jared Snyder. I almost said Coach Jared Snyder. I'm a coach, but um, today we are getting ready to go out and check out some more public land. Um, I have a couple options for when I'm hunting. This is what I'm going to use this year. I have this blind from a long time ago. If it's raining out, I'm going to carry this, this, this thing in. Um, I killed a lot of deer out of it on private land. I probably have to set it up and get all this, uh, it hasn't been up in a long time. Also, let me show you another thing that I have that I bought. All my crossbows and stuff are back here. Um, but I bought this tree stand. It's a real tree tree stand. Um, and uh, underneath this umbrella, I have so much crap I need to clean up. I have some uh, climb, climbing sticks here that I'm going to hike in with. They're pretty light. Um, might need to get one more, but... So far, that's what I'm going to have, so I'm going to head over to the state game area, and uh, we're going to do some looks, looking, we're going to use Onyx and um, mark some spots and stuff, so stay tuned, and I'll have more of the video coming up. I did not get a turkey license this year because I didn't know you had to be right on top of it for public land, so pretty bummed about that, but you want to know what, I'm just getting myself ready for uh, deer season and uh, getting a doe, buck, whatever. I just, my goal is to get a deer off of public land because I've never done it. I've always hunted private land, um, taking quite a few bucks, a nice, in December 16th, I took a nice uh, um, 10 point or nine, 10 point uh, out of there, scored probably about 130, 140. Um, but um, that's about my hunting. I've taken a lot of bucks. I've taken a lot of does, but I've never, ever taken anything off public land. And right now I don't have any access to any private land. So we're going to do it on public and we're, we're going to put in the work and they say scout, scout, scout. So that's what we're going to do. And so stay tuned and we're going to head over there here in a few minutes. All right. So something I look for when I'm out and looking for, uh, or hoof print but like a lot of times that i'm hearing that you guys should uh look for mat food so i'm looking for uh acorns and i heard that these ones right here are good indicator that there's gonna be deer around So I looked up and seen what we have up here. And it looks like, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but I'm seeing more that are going to drop. So it's an indication that I'm going to still scour this area and see what other dish sign I can find. And I'm going to mark it on my Onyx map so that I know. But, um, yeah, so, so far, so good. So another question I'm asking myself, too, is I'm looking for other hunter signs back on public land. But I'm also asking where are deer exiting and coming from. And then I'm trying to follow their trail just to kind of see what they're doing. And I just found this, like, worn-out trail in the in the mud and we got some good deer hoof signs and it looks like they're taking me back here so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to find if there's any like uh rubs or any kind of sc scrapes just in this general area but we're gonna follow this trail back a little bit more just to see what's going on.
and it looks like they're bedding back here. It's so it's so it's so thick back here. It's it's ridiculous. Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna show you even more more deer hooves. So I'll follow it out. And I just want to see what's going on. Oh, so one thing it's telling me is there are deer in this area. And I think that they're using this uh, thicket, as you can see, all in here. I think they're using it as a bedding and a travel route to stay away from people. But stay tuned, I'm gonna keep on hiking and looking. Another sign I am looking for are uh, rubs, and I found one right here. In which, if you're looking, there's a huge like marsh out there. So I'm pretty sure they're bedded in there, and they're probably coming up to this flat top or whatever island to, uh, um, to do their stuff, eat acorns and all that stuff. But it's a good sign that I found this. I'm gonna mark it on my onyx. Hey, what's up, front hunter friends? Um, I'm back at a different spot now. And uh, yeah, I found some good sign. This is always a good sign. It's pretty fresh, it looks like too. Not dried out, it's moist. So, what I'm doing now is figuring out, okay, what trail did they use? And uh, looking for hunting pressure back here, too. So, um, if I find any more deer signs, like scrapes. Just looking at a tree, thought I seen a rub. Um, but anyways, I'm going to just keep on looking. It looks like there was, like, a trail going that way and that way. And uh, we're going to check it out, see if I can find any more deer sign, and then mark it on the onyx. Okay, so I was just by deer poop up there, and I had seen some acorns falling um, from the ground. So I'm just like, me, I'm always asking why and stuff. So um, I followed a trail, and I'm just like, okay, let's see where it's going. And it looks like a, a nice beaten down trail that they're using it quite a bit. So what I'm thinking is they're probably hanging out in this thick cover and then going up to that hardwoods or whatever you call it to eat a lot of the um, acorns. Um, you can hear them falling. So marking this on my onyx and uh like i said with uh public land you need to have point a point b point c point d and um i'm finding a lot of good ones i'm gonna hit this early season pretty hard so hopefully we show up a deer i'm getting excited 14 more days so i just finished up with the scouting of the day spent uh went out around 11 12 and just got home and it's almost going on two o'clock so spent a couple hours out um, anyways, um, I didn't show a lot of footage of the end, but, um, I, uh, found this area, um, and, uh, found a lot of good sign over there. Um, even I was walking down a couple trails and I, um, bumped some deer. So that was a good sign that I seen deer over there. And, um, I was just kept on figuring out what they were doing. And I think I got a game plan. So, um, for that area. Um, then I also went out to the road and I walked down the road and there were this uh, um, Probably husband and wife that lived down the street and they were out and I said hello to them and asked them questions um, Because I'm new to the area um, got some good answers uh, and they told me more information on because their house is up to the public lane they told me some more information they were very nice I was very nice to them we had a good conversation so pretty happy about that and uh, um, I'm pretty happy about moving forward so uh, another day of scouting 
and uh, 14 more days until uh, bow hunting season starts and my goal like I said is to get a deer off of public land whether it be a doe or whether it be a buck um, I don't care just to put that tag I have taken a public land deer so anyways um, stay tuned to my journey um, I'm gonna try to figure out how we can uh, tape the hunts and uh, everything but um, anyways gonna get some practice in shooting um, I do have a crossbow um, I don't know if I ever showed it to you guys This is the crossbow. It's a PSC Fang. Um, it's crazy because I got it at Cabela's in Grand Rapids when I lived over there. And uh, the scope that came with it uh, like busted within a uh, couple weeks. So I took it back to Cabela's. And they actually gave me a brand new scope um, of no charge. And I like the scope. Um, it is a 4x32 Barnett. It's a good scope um got it all tuned in and uh but yeah and then i'm a huge fan of rage broadheads um rage in the cage you probably heard but that's what i shoot um if you have any questions please leave them below um have any advice for me while i'm out on a journey of getting a public land deer um or anything just leave it in the comments um tell me about your hunting experience what you're doing, how things are going for you, um, how's your scouting going, if you're a public land deer hunter like what I am going to be, um, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear it. Uh, and um, please subscribe to my channel um, for more of these hunting videos. Um, and hopefully you're getting excited like I am getting excited for the season to start. All right. Take care. Shoot straight. Love you guys. Bye.